So someone encouraged me to do a vlog of my Sri Lanka trip that I'm going to be doing. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, so I've been a day at my parents' house and I've been reorganizing my shelf, as you can see here. I've been putting all the comics in chronologically as best I know how. And I shuffled some things around so I've yeeted some new content. The, I haven't really been interested in reading and I was collecting them a bit because I wanted to give it a shot later on after I finished my chronological read through of the EU. But I've just been losing my interest in it. But yeah, so I got a bunch of them that I guess are gonna live over there now. But things have ended up a bit more space efficient. So yeah, the main thing is I've fixed up my shelf at the moment. So if I can work out my camera angles, you will probably notice this gap here. Yes, that gap there. And that is for the Thrawn and Jedi Academy trilogies. Yeah, work it out here. There we go, there you can see everything. So yeah, because those are still down south and also don't have Marvel Souls issue 108 in there. But I did notice that I have issue 91 and 79 on there, so that's pretty cool. Got some of the stuff that I didn't remember that I had and looking back through the comics is awesome and I mean I have read them but remembering what I actually have is tricky so yeah cool so yeah I'm gonna head off to Sri Lanka this is a mission trip so this is actually going to be part of works of worth in which I'm a director on the board of and we're partnered with Wendy Lanka and we're going to empower children and it's a lot of focus on education and uh, just basically whatever needs they have the most that we've found or Wounded Lanka have found we've gone in to support them in what they're doing and sorting out all the things of managerial stuff that we need to do for that so it's really good and it's going to be the Christmas concert so that'll be awesome and yeah going to have good fun even though it's going to be really busy because I'm using what I've learned in film and TV this year to be able to do some videos for it for promotion and a couple of other things so that'll be awesome as well so hang around for that and they might go up on the separate works of worth channel or on the facebook page that we have or even just on a website because we're looking at getting a website properly in that early days working things out but yeah so i guess i'll see you when i get near the plane or off the plane i'll work out when i want to vlog it so i'll see you then so hey, um, I just checked in my bag, so then I'm on the way. So I'm waiting for the plane and through duty free in the international section, so that's pretty cool. And we've got to have a nice glass of the wine arenos while it rains outside, which is pretty cool. Yep, cool. Rain in Darwin is actually quite warm, so it's really good that we get rain. So I'm taking off from Darwin. Say hi. That's my parents, and you probably can't see, it's really bright, but there we go, we're taking off from Darwin to go to Singapore, and then from Singapore we'll go to Sri Lanka, so that'll be awesome. So I just landed in Singapore in Changi Airport, which is awesome, I love Changi Airport, there's some great stuff here, and I'll just show you around now. We've got a travel later that goes this way. Whee! Look at him just walking. Yay! It does your eyes in a little bit. Nice garden area. Woo! They've got some nice lights on the roof. Oh, they have this funky thing in the garden here. The long collar and they put their collar up. <laughs> just for a book recommendation, Dan Brown has written some really interesting books that have Vinci Code is actually really good. I like it better than the movie. And Inferno it actually has a different ending than the movie and I like the book ending a lot more so yeah definitely recommended reads. Yeah out of interest looking at the books it's a, interestingly no Star Wars books. Oh this is a nice little garden area as well with some koi in the pond and everything. Pretty flowers and all of that. I love how Singapore Air Changi Airport does this. Yeah so one thing as well that's really cool is I have each of the gardens here, if I can get the camera right, looking at them. Yeah, and they also have an entertainment deck. I can't aim the camera the right way, but there we go. 
and yeah it looks like you can here go to a movie theater and they also have some pc gaming from the look of it and a playground and stuff for the kids so even for the adults who want to play on the playground probably so that's cool and a little traveler's tip is that if you've got a long stop over here in singapore say you've got a stop over for eight hours or something hours. more than six hours even and the you can actually go somewhere and hire out rooms to just sleep if you're gonna not be going anywhere outside of the airport or anything it's a really good option plenty of eating places around as well as all these attractions and of course merchandising <laughs> for the shops <laughs> shop your heart sick content though it gets expensive because it's singapore and an airport so yeah cool Now looking back at Singapore Airport, it's kind of almost dead because I got the window seat. <laughs> so we've just filmed out the window. Now we're going to take off. And for Colombo. It's fairly late at night, but that's life. Might as well catch up on sleep one day. Oh, we're getting reflections of somebody's hand in the window as well. It doesn't record what you say. It doesn't record what you say. It does. Yeah, that's why I'm doing commentary. There's the runway. And turning on the oh, the bright lights. They look bright in the dark. See a plane here and there. And we're off. Might get a bit wobbly here. The runway's a bit bumpy. All the lights change colour. We're off the ground now. the CEO of Wendy Lanka, which will be really good. And yeah, so it was a few hour flight from Singapore, so all up I think it ended up about eight hours of actual flying, but we had a couple of hours in Singapore for the connection, and so it ended up about 10 hours. So it's about half past 11 here, about 20 to 12, and it's about back in Darwin, we left about quarter to four, and it's about that time in the morning here, like back in Darwin, not local time, so yeah, cool. So I'm going to just go back, get sleep, and then carry on with the next day, which will be really good. Or later today, I should say, because I've got stuff to do that we need to do. So feeling fairly tired at the moment, but I realised I forgot to just add a bit about what I was actually doing on the plane, if you want to hear it. So yeah, I ended up playing a bit of Breath of the Wild for a bit and on the Switch, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, switched over. Yeah, switched over from the Switch to watch some of the 2016 Godzilla movie, which I hadn't watched before, so that was pretty good. Then got off to Singapore, got on the one from Singapore to Colombo, and then I actually watched bit of Detective Conan I saw was on there because One Punch Man Season 2 was on there and so I had a look through and what and I only had Detective Conan as the other anime but uh, yeah that was pretty cool and I watched what was it now I'm having trouble because I'm tired <laughs> brain I watched another movie which was called damn it I'm too tired yeah, that's a really good movie now, damn it, I'm too tired, um, no, it's not coming, I'm too tired, but anyway, I took up my time, 
and yeah, it was good. And now I'm just really tired because it ended up later because things broke in a bag, we had to sort that out before we leave, so whatever. Now I really want to remember that movie number. I'll probably remember tomorrow and edit in later. And I just remembered as I'm going that it was John Wick 3. And that was entertaining, good fun. Leading into the sequel, which will be John Wick 4. And yeah, pretty good. Exactly what you want from the John Wick movie. And quite entertaining. I hadn't watched it before, but I watched the first two, so pretty good. The only thing that I find is that it does rely on watching the previous two for a lot of the plot elements, especially chapter two on um, how he became excommunicado and that. But anyway, that was quick thoughts before I'm just going to drop dead sleep. Not actually dead, but asleep. So, yeah. Cool. Well then, this is actually the first full day in Sri Lanka, which is the same day we got here, technically, because we got here early, but yeah, cool. So, yeah, I, we got some stuff done, but the morning we had a good rest because of the late night. The uh, first on the agenda was a bit of a nice haircut. Now, it's a bit longer than I thought it would be because of the way he combed it. It looked like it was shorter. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks pretty nice and fresh. And, I mean, I just had a shower, so it ruined how he combed it and all that. But, yeah, what's really cool about the place that we go to for a haircut here is that they'll actually give us a massage for the head, shoulders... And that, and it's like 10 bucks for a massage, so it's a lot cheaper than home as well. But yeah, after that, we just organised a couple of things um, with clothing, because you have to get some more clothing embroidered with the patches and stuff on it for works of worth. And then we actually did the first shooting session, no, filming session, not the other shooting, filming session for a uh, major video that's going to be put together and I'll be putting that up on either the website which is what we're currently thinking or on another platform to, for people to be able to find and for me to share around, it'll be really good and yeah, that'll be awesome for when we actually get to it so yeah, that's pretty much today and then yeah, pizza for tea which is always good and cause, especially because it's really hard for things not to be spicy here. Now, in previous times we've had issues with spice to the point of, well, I had so much spicy stuff at one point that I was throwing up from it, so <laughs> I try to avoid it here. And though I don't mind spicy stuff, the Sri Lankan level of spice is way too high. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today, and then on to the next. Driving up to Hatton tomorrow, so that'll be awesome, and it's in the hills area, so it takes a few hours, but we'll get there early, early start, 4 o'clock in the morning or whatever, they said they wanted to get up, so that they could beat the traffic, which is always a good thing, because the traffic here is very much like Indian traffic, if you know that at all, uh, which is manic and crazy, they don't seem like they have rules, honk and you just force your way in places and Hope you don't get hit, so. <laughs> I wouldn't want to drive in it, but anyway. So, yeah, that'll be really good. And I guess I'll give a report on the next day. Uh, I don't think of doing stuff during the day as much with this vlogging bit, because usually I'm focusing on the other things that I want to be doing for the day. My jobs and stuff you have to do. So, for, for example, tomorrow I'll be going around with my Canon 6D Mark II getting a lot of b-roll shots for the interviews and videos that we're going to be doing. Anyway, having fun. It's been good to meet up with my mates and their kids and be able to interact with them and enjoy the time here. It just feels like a good welcome home as well. So It's nice that they're so accommodating and everything. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next day here. Yeah, so we got up about 4.30 in the morning to go. Woo! Yay! Cool Christmas tree. It's all lit up. It's good. So today we got to Hatton. We woke up early in the morning, as you probably saw. And 
Yeah, we got here at about 11 o'clock ish, or something like that, later in the morning. And then, yeah, we just had some lunch and then had a little nap after seeing the kids, and that was awesome. And I got some footage of the kids for the videos I'm doing and all that good stuff. But yeah, all the kids gave us one file that they brought themselves, which is really cute, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. That's pretty much today. We had an afternoon nap because we're still pretty tired from traveling and getting up early in the morning and then it's all good to go. And then tomorrow we're gonna get to more filming. Could be good. And go and see the kids clubs and stuff that are being done in some of the different villages around, which would be great. So yeah, I'll talk to you after I've done that probably. Oh yeah, I'm riding in the back of the Mahindra, which is pretty cool and bumpy because it's bumpy roads and suspension of course. But uh, yeah, it's raining. And Brian Houston was saying about wanting rain, he sent it up to Sri Lanka instead of down in Australia. Should have been more specific. <laughs> the Bade Cafe. Um, yeah. You can say hi to me if you want. Hi. <laughs> That's a Sri Lankan friend. Um, yeah, this is a vegetarian cafe place where, yeah, it's some nice food. We had some Bade and yeah, we have a look at this. Oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> So yeah, that'll be good fun. And yeah, have a you got a couple of buckets. So there's a not so spicy one, which is good, <laughs> and then there's a spicier one for the locals. So that's we better. Got them on their table. Yeah, we haven't got the extra spicy one. We got yeah, a medium sort of one spicy. that's not as bad, but we still like the not so spicy one. But yeah, it's good. Big long wrap looking things are called dosé. Ah, that's better. I got the pronunciation wrong. It's a different language. And these things are like little donuts, but they're savoury and they're called bade. And that's what we came here for. And these are the ones are hot. Uh, we had some cool ones before, so yeah, It'd be yummy. Yeah, so you saw a bit more today than you did yesterday. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so today we went around pretty much slept in, which was good to catch up on sleep. And then we ended up going and visiting some of the kids' clubs and things that they run in around the place a bit, a couple of them, which are really good. And like for the sake of not being sure of if I'm allowed to show them on this part, I won't show them. But you saw, we also saw, like I was riding them in, in the Mahindra, and they're actually Mahindra trucks. That's the brand wow. that they are. Uh, yeah, and then so they're fairly big, so that they can actually take all the gear that they need and a heap of the crew up to be able to do what they need to do in places. So they're really good as well. But they managed to get. Hmm work out but yeah it's cool it's been really good seeing all of the things they're doing and moving towards doing some of the video stuff for interviews and stuff a bit amongst that it's good apparently it's a vegetarian place because a lot of the hindu tamils are vegetarian that are here so yeah that's interesting and yeah still good food so tastes good and not too spicy which is better for the digestive tract because we've had issues with that in the past so yeah cool so back on this day i forget what number day it is now but yeah we went to mac maharaj tonight and i had some nice um naan bread and rice with some couple of different curries which one was on the higher end of the spice scale but the other one wasn't which is nice and earlier in the day in the morning we went to the church of the father of our friend here which was actually really good even though we didn't really understand a lot of it it was still nice to see his church and finally be there after coming in a few times before and not being able to go to his church which that was really good to go and see and the preach was in english and translated for them because we were there so that was good and yeah then we went on to shoot a couple of the life story videos which i'm not sure if they'll ever go up public on the website or anything later but at the moment it's just done at the moment and we're going to create just basically backstory between behind how wendy lanka became how it is and what happened with it so yeah a couple of the uh, people high up on that basically joint ceos but there's a ceo and a coo uh, chief organizations officer and she does a lot of the work as well and they're married so 
yeah, they're our friends that we partner with and they're really good. And we're actually up here in Hatton with them and going through doing what we need to as well as all that good stuff. So tomorrow's some of the Christmas concerts, which will be great to see. So keen to get them done. And I mean, I probably won't show them again because probably the child stuff probably shouldn't be in this video. I'm just being careful with all the permissions and everything with that. But yeah, it'd be really good and I'll show you what it is afterwards. It'd be great. And I'll tell you about it. So it'd be good. So yeah, see you then. Yeah, so I just pretty much got out from a three hour meeting. So your brain goes a bit dead, but hey. Had to go through the budget and stuff for talking to the people and sorting out everything. So it's good in that way. But yeah, this morning was the Christmas concert in Manhattan with the kids and that was really cute and I loved it. Uh, I won't show you the kids on the video just in case. Just careful, but we do have permission from the parents and whatever that we can take footage and that may be used in some of the promotional stuff that I put together for Works of Worth, which is our charity that which is why we're here, because we're partnered with Wendy Lenka to help the children, educate them on that, and they do the Christmas concerts at this time of year to be able to show the performing arts sort of part, which is awesome. And it's the end of year stuff and all the stuff for Christmas, so it's really good. But yeah, so pretty much that, and we're looking at a bit of cars just out of interest, uh, looking at things that might be able to help out with bits and pieces. And yeah, they've actually got some, it might be a joke or whatever, but a Toyota Hilux Surf that's about 3,400 Aussie dollars, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, so possibility, who knows. And yeah, so I think one of the other things that I forgot to mention is something I'm forgetting again right now. It'll come later. I forgot to do one yesterday in the time, uh, by the time I was like, we got a bit late, so this is the morning. So yesterday we ended up doing uh, a Christmas party with the kids and everything, so that was really good. And talking to the teachers a bit and all that, and it was great fun. They had some fun games and stuff there, and yeah, it was really good. And we gave the packages to the kids, so we give them some shoes and some stationery and things that they need to be able to do school next year, basically. Because if we didn't give them those things, they wouldn't be allowed to go to school, which isn't very good for them. And then they have trouble. At least it's a free government school and don't have to pay for that. But yeah, it's good. And then we ended up doing, having a good th long meeting. Well, we were, having a bit of a meeting amongst ourselves, talking about website stuff. And we met with the teachers and talked to them more in depth about like how they are in the environment and that, if they had any feedback and just, yeah, basically how they're going. And they're all pretty happy, so that's good to hear and all that good stuff, so. Works out good. And then today we're going to Dimbulla and we're gonna be seeing the afternoon school that they do there and talking to some of the people there and yeah it's also connected to some of the nurturing nest families which are the mums and babies which you care for and yeah I'll tell you more about that later. Yeah all right so today we went to Dimbulla in the morning and we saw the mums and babies there and what's interesting as well to know is that earlier on I forgot to mention is that the men have started to do some tea picking as well because they couldn't find any other jobs but also now we found out that they only have to pick 18 kilograms of tea and their pay is doubled. It's now about six Australian dollars instead of three. It's great for them, but then it's also not much still. So they still need help with living and everything. And also on top of that, they went on strike and that's why they got a pay rise and that. But then they also have new buildings being built for them, but they have to pay it. And the way the estates are working, we heard, was that they are taking a cut out of their pay to be able to pay for the housing. So they're probably going to end up being paid $3 a day in the end still anyway. But we'll see, I guess. Hopefully not. And hopefully they'll be able to get some better free housing than what they've got with the line housing. 
but yeah, it was really cool to see. And there was also one mum and bub that, uh, that she had some family interference and stuff that happened where the child is severely underweight and didn't get help for it. And it's one year old and it's 4.5 kilograms. So that's not much at all. And yeah, so we found out that she's actually being told by the government check up and seeing all the other babies going around her and whatever else. She's finally going to be getting help and stuff. So that's really good to hear that something's being done about that. But yeah, it's cool for being able to see them and everything. And also got a bunch of video stuff done, started editing and syncing up the audio with videos that we got there and um, all good stuff. So on to tomorrow. We're doing even more good stuff with the tomorrow's Thursday and we're gonna have the mums and babies and the women's program for Hatton because we separated in Buller and the men's program in the afternoon so that'll be really cool. Yeah so today was cool we in the morning we did the mums and babies and the women's program all together and then mum taught them how to make brownies which is really cool and a treat for them as well when they're put together and they can all have a bit and then this afternoon was the men's program which was actually pretty cool to see uh, that's still quite new so only about 18 of them turned up and also it was a different day than when it normally runs because it's on a Thursday on a work day and not on the Saturday so more turn up when of course they don't have work and whatnot and the ones that do turn up do tend to take the day off work as long as they found work for that day, if they did before. But yeah, so that was really cool. Uh, it was great to see everyone have great fun and to be able to receive some gifts to be able to help them along the way, like with the mums and babies, getting the milk powder instead of just feeding their children tea and a few other things for Christmas to add to the things that they're able to do for Christmas, which is really good. And also just working a bit more on interviews, which was really good because we got a heap of interviews done for the women and there were a few for the men as well that are really interesting and yeah, um, they might not go up on the website, they might not. It just depends, we're still in the stages of planning that, so it's cool. So on to the next day tomorrow, which we're going to be travelling back to Colombo in the e afternoon, evening, so that'll be cool. And there's the kids club as well going on in the morning, so we'll be able to see that. Of course, I just had the kids club stuff this morning, and I was remembering to mention a few things. So it was actually Christmas parties for this week, because it's the last week before Christmas, of course, for them, that they're going to come to the school and be able to come to the kids clubs and the men's program and the women's program and the mums and babies program and that. So... That was good fun to see them all come together and have a bit of fun and be able to receive some gifts to be able to help them. And they're practical gifts, not just things that they can't use. So they're good. And for the tea pickers, the 18 kilograms is actually less than it used to be. It used to be 26 kilograms, I think. So uh, along with their pay. But the other thing with that as well, I think I mentioned, was the having to pay for the new housing. So, eh. Whether it's better or not, we're not sure. But also with the tea pickers, along with that, is that apparently they're on a list, but they don't always get called in for work. So they don't. it's not as consistent, at least now, as it used to be or as I thought it was. And that may be because the men are also doing tea picking and more people are tea picking because they can't get other work. But, yeah, that happens. But yeah, cool. So this afternoon we're travelling back to Colombo. Be good. Cool, so of course I'm back in Colombo. This is the next day though, so I got back and I was just pretty tired and went to sleep pretty much and that sort of good stuff, but I did on the way also finish Wedges Gamble, which is really cool. I'll have my review of that up soon after this one probably. This will be my first one back and then I'll be doing my other ones. And then I actually finished the main story of Pokemon Shield on the way as well, so my Nintendo Switch I played along a bit as I went to entertain myself. I also got a couple of nice scenery shots, but it was easy just to go there. But today we had a rest day, which is why I thought I'd bundle it together a bit. And we went around some shops and stuff, had some good time, had a nice sleep in after the long drive back and that. And yeah, so 
I should say it's a long drive back, but it's actually not that far. It's just because the roads and the traffic and that, oh God, the traffic's bad. But yeah, that's very much like Indian traffic, if you know that at all. Or sometimes in Australia, you get Indian drivers on the road that'll drive the same way that they drive in India. And so that sort of thing. But today we were looking around and I was actually looking in a camera shop. So of course I'm studying film and TV at Hillsong College and I actually got my own camera uh, about the middle of like, this year, which is still 2019. And so this is my camera, which is a 6D Mark II, which is very nice. And I opted for the 6D because the battery power lasts longer and the Sony A7S would have a better picture, but it costs more to get an adapter for it that'll be a good one and it costs more for the actual camera itself about the same but costs more for an adapter different lenses having to make it fit with canon lenses because that's what we have at college to be able to hire out a bit and all that good stuff which one am i going there so i'll show you what lenses i had so i have a 17 to 40 mil lens which is a zoom one, of course. All of my lenses at the moment are zoom ones because I found those have the greatest adaptability to me when, where I'm framing the shots and everything. And I had a 75 to 300 mil. So the 75 to 300 mil came from actually, my parents had a DSLR that was a Canon 1000D, but they didn't end up using it. So I used it for a little bit but it doesn't do video, which is why I got the 6D now, because it does really good video. And what's also great is today, and I, I feel so grateful to my parents because they're helping me pay for a lot of this. But today we went into a camera shop and it was cheaper than what you'd find in Australia, which is why we opted to get it by a few hundred dollars. Of course, these are expensive, but I actually have a 24 to 105 millimeter lens to pretty much cover all of the range that I can. And even my dad was saying when he lent my camera at one point, he was having trouble with being a bit too far back feeling or a bit too close. So this will allow me to not be up in people's faces or just all the way back where when you zoom in, you notice every little shaky camera movement. <laughs> so that'll be good. So that's pretty much what we got up to today. Um, we had some lunch, of course, uh, some good non-spicy stuff, and we went and had ice cream at a really nice local place, which was great. Even though I didn't feel I needed it after lunch, but hey, that happens. But it was a nice relaxed day today. And now I've got that extra lens, which is wonderful to be able to do things. And now then will be the next day tomorrow, which will probably also be mostly rest but see what I get done then I'll talk to you then. There wasn't a lot today really that went on um, in the morning we went to our friend's church which was actually really good we had a good time at church there and uh, Pastor Jerome Fernando is the guy he's a Sri Lankan of course and most of the people there are um, actually it was interesting that he actually smoked someone and they fell on the ground and that and that's the first time I've seen that so interesting and yes, I'm Christian. You'll get that if you get my vlog things, because I went to the church on Sunday. Duh. And then in the afternoon, we didn't do a lot. Like We had lunch at a pizza place, which is really nice. And yeah, then we pretty much hot watched a little bit of Christmas stuff with the kids, because yeah, he's got his family and they've got some young kids. And hopped in the pool, which was really fun. It was good fun. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. So today was fairly chill as well. We got to sleep in a bit, which is good. And then we went to the Wendy Lanka offices, which is not far from here where we're staying with our friend's place, which is good. Uh, we just sorted a few things out really today. We sorted out the program agreement earlier in the day, and then we got some things we needed to get. And then tonight we had the board meeting with Wendy Lanka and us, Works of Worth, with me and my parents because we're the directors at the moment and we signed the program agreement for 2020 which was pretty good uh, there were no major changes so it all went pretty quickly 
The signing's a lot easier when you do it in a meeting, that's all compared to trying to send it around places. So it's good. And then, yeah, that's pretty much today. Uh, it's later at night because we ended up just talking to people afterwards a bit and whatnot, having fun. Now I'm going to be going and watching Wreck and Morty! Which is actually quite entertaining and I really enjoy it, so there we go. So, that's going to be Season 4, Episode 5, Rattlesar Reclactica. So I haven't actually watched Battlestar Galactica, so I'll see what it's like. But yeah, really enjoying Rick and Morty. Good entertainment. And I love how they get to keep coming up with original ideas too. It's good. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And so I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So today was actually a fairly relaxed day as well in the end, but we actually talked to a guy about the website that's going to be going up, so he's going to send us some designs and then we're going to be working out what we're going to do with that and all that. Uh, we're going to purchase the domain name when we're back in Australia because something happened and the address came up as the Australian address for all of it except for it's at Sri Lanka. So I don't get it. Get it. Odd things. And otherwise, yeah, the rest of the day we ended up going to the concert for Colombo Montessori, which was really good, and I took some video of that and stuff with my camera, using my new lens, which was really good. I enjoyed having to play with it, but it's a bit heavier than the other ones, but hey, that's how it goes. And yeah, then just fairly chill. So there was a bit of time during the day and whatnot to be able to look at other things. And I oh yeah, also recorded one more interview, just to cap it off for Lakshita Fernando and he's been there for a long time he's nicknamed Lucky and yeah he's got a cool story as well that will be shared somewhere along the line but yeah um to the one thing I found in my downtime was unlocking the secret level on mysteries of the Sith now, I'd vaguely heard about it but I didn't commit to it, and it but it feels incomplete without playing it so that'll be good fun uh, I did have a little play of it and make sure it worked all right and everything and it's not too long anyway so that'll be good see how it all goes so yeah that's cool and pretty much it for now I'll see you tomorrow I'm gonna go do an elephant orphanage which will be really good because we've got got that plan that my parents did that before and they wanted me to have the experience to where I'm going to get watered on or oh, squatted with the truck. <laughs> so that'll be fun. So yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. So as I thought, today was another chill day, which was pretty good. Uh, we actually got up earlier in the morning to beat the Colombo traffic, which is pretty mad. So it's good to get out early to go to the Elephant Orphanage, which is in Parahera, in near Candy or in Candy, one of them. It was about an hour and a half drive, so on the way I actually forgot my book because I should have taken it, but I didn't. So I ended up reading a bunch more of the classic Marvel Star Wars comics. So you'll be happy to hear. Now I'm up to the next one is going to be issue 92 that I'm reading, so that'll be good. And then my reviews will be coming out next year because of stuff happening and this is recorded in 2019 of course so this probably got up in January of 2020 anyway so that's cool um, and other than that we just talked about a few things sort of something things out we had a look at a car to do with aiding the people here and that's going to go forwards because they really need an SUV type car to be able to transport people back and forth rather than hiring a van or an SUV all the time that can get more expensive or well, it is more expensive in the long run so yeah that's good but yeah as far as that goes I'm now going to just go chill in bed a little bit and then go to sleep so yeah pretty short one but I'll see you tomorrow which is going to be a nice Christmas party and a staff party for all of the staff from Hatton and Colombo 
Alright, so today I think it's just turning midnight as I speak. So a quick one. We were all day at a staff Christmas party, which was actually great fun. Uh, so in the morning, they actually focused on taking time to appreciate each of the staff members. So they all went on a hot seat and everyone said things that they appreciated about them, told stories and that, which was good, another than different language, but that's what you've got to expect when you're over here. Because English isn't their first language, it's usually t Tamil or Sinhala. So, yeah, and in the afternoon, because, well, the appreciations went for a while, but <laughs> well, we got surprised, because it's my mum's birthday on the 7th of January, it was mine's on the 27th of December, and so they threw a double thing for us, and it was like, oh, big party thing there, and two cakes, one for each of us, and someone even photoshopped together a Star Wars one for me which is actually quite nice I really appreciate that and yeah other than that um, we had a bit of a after party where we had a barbecue which was actually more like a proper barbecue because they had sausages and chops and they had different kinds of sausages and two different kinds of chops and the chops were a bit peppery but the pre-marinated ones you get that sometimes especially here when they don't use the same sorts of marinades we do in Australia and good stuff had good time with a bunch of games that we introduced to the people as well as they showed us a few things so that's pretty awesome and yeah pretty much good fun all around uh, though it seemed pretty busy when we were doing that stuff so that was that and I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is the day, well technically it's an early Saturday morning, tomorrow is the night of flying back to Adelaide. And that will be the end of this vlog because that will be my Sri Lanka trip. Because I'm going to be in Adelaide with my grandparents for Christmas and then just going to be going on from there. So, not too long to go with this two and a half week sort of vlog covering thing. And I'll see you in the next one. So I'm just in the gate for the departure to Singapore and then on to Adelaide, so that's cool. And but today, earlier today, the, for most of the day, it was just pretty busy smashing out the translations for the bits and pieces that we needed to do for the videos. So most of the day was taken up doing translations, so holding the microphone in what felt like an odd spot so I got a bit stiff but hey that happens I'm getting translations for the Sinhala or Tamil language people and then we went to a wedding which was actually really nice of someone that we know that we met from a church that our friend went to so that was really good um, yeah. and now we're here checked in the bags ready to go but I was tired last night and I forgot to tell you something that we actually had a, a sort of combined birthday party sort of thing as well was the, with the staff Christmas party and I got a present and I got a camera bag and yeah I'm taking on the plane the camera bag it's full of stuff at the moment but there it is just sitting there looking good birthday's on the 27th of December, um, they actually got it early and I was actually really surprised by it because I didn't expect them to get it at all and stuff. And then a big thing with the cake and stuff as well, which was really cool. But yeah, it was awesome. I had great fun. And they did a great job of everything there. But yeah, cool. I guess I'll see you when I'm taking off or whatever, whenever I decide to do the next bit. So after all that, it's been a really long flight. There was only an hour connection in Singapore, so I didn't bother doing anything there. And I was really tired on the plane, so I just closed my eyes for most of it. But I did read a bunch of the Kratos trap, which was good. And on the leg when we were coming to Adelaide, it was sunnier, so I was more awake. And so I ended up watching Ad Astra and Interstellar. I'm not going to go into detail at all now because I can't be bothered. I'm too tired. 
So I'll just tell you sometime tomorrow or something to finish this all up. So, I guess I'll talk to you then. So this is the day after because I was too tired to worry about doing the vlog when I was really tired from six and a half hours plus an hour connection and then another four hours flight which started at quarter to one in the morning so long flight back but that's because I went down further to Adelaide so that's good. Uh, on the way I read the Kratos trap for a bit and then I felt a bit tired and so I closed my eyes for most of it but then I watched on the way when it got lighter for daylight at Astra and Interstellar and so Ad Astra is an interesting one that was more thought provoking I think than uh, action heavy or something like that and Interstellar I thought was quite an interesting one for uh, different concepts and an uh, interesting plot line so it's good and so I'm back in Adelaide now because I'm going to spend Christmas with my grandparents which live down here so it's good I thought I'd do is show off my camera bag a bit more so I'm gonna show the bits and pieces so you got a nice zip here which has stuff in it because I transferred the stuff from my other backpack in there so it'll be a bit freer when there's just a camera gear in here but the main part is this part and that has the new lens which is the 24 to 105 in the bubble wrap and it's my 24 no not the 24 the 17 to 40 millimeter lens that's the 75 to 300 millimeter lens i need to get a pouch for the 75 to 300 and the 24 to 105. then my camera's sitting in the corner and the charger's in the middle how i've worked it out at the moment this has good padding up here so it keeps well <laughs> Then you've got an extra little bit here, which is the top section to be able to keep things in. Which, I've got my book in there. Surprise, surprise. Yeah? And a few other bits and pieces with cords and things for my laptop. And then what we have in the side is a zip here which actually houses my laptop when it's in there. So it's a good little laptop bit. There's my mouse pad. It's a Star Wars one, surprise. And then, yeah, it's really good. And then you've got a little zip in the bottom for the waterproof casing, which is good. And then I'll see you all when I get back in January, probably. When this goes up. But hey, this is December. I just got back. I Channel update for saying I'm away for the Christmas break for 2019 has just gone up, so yeah, that sort of thing. I'll see you next time.